All right, hello everyone, and welcome to the ECAC Division B semifinal matchup. We've got your post University Eagles taking on Lycoming like College tonight in a best of five, five potential maps tonight. So strap in. We're in for a long one. First map's going to be Haven. <clears throat> it's going to be post University starting on defense. It's going to be Meech, Johnny Fuego, Mojo, Solo God, and Lifted Keynote starting five for the Eagles. And for Lycoming, it's going to be Matthew on Jet, Mana Hammer on Brim, Dylan on Reyna, Babe on Killjoy, and it's Toasty on Fade. And then we have the agents locked in. Four posts. It's going to be Meech on Cypher, Johnny on Viper, Mojo on Omen, Solo on Jet, and Lifted Kino on Sova. So, very interesting compositions coming out already for both sides. Um, almost completely different compositions as well. Jet the only mirrored agent on both sides. So, this is going to be a very interesting match to watch. <coughs> Let's Get started. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, we gotta use a pause, it looks like.
Okay, we're back now. Sorry about that. Or our player's PC's crashed after loading in, so we're going to run it back. <laughs> Still Haven. And uh, same comp coming out for Lycoming. And uh, Eagle's locking in quickly as well. Uh, it's going to be Meech on Cypher, Mojo on Omen, Solo on Jet, Liftakino on Gecko, and Johnny Fuego on Sova. And then, meanwhile, for Malai Coming, it's going to be Matthew on Jet, Manahammer on Brins Brimstone, Dylan Ninanen on Reyna, Babe on Killjoy, and it's Toasty on Fade. All right. <clears throat> Best of five. We are ready to go officially now. <clears throat> right here. Eagle starting on defense. That goes there. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Ready to watch this goes here. a hell of a lot of Valorant tonight. That's what I'm talking about. Also, we have our uh, NBA 2K player, Psychic WB, in his semifinal matchup versus U University of Albany player over on our sister channel, Post U Esports 2. But right now, it's time for some Valorant. Mojo smoking off C-Long. Solo. Dashes away. Don't think he, no, no one got any damage down there. Solo with uh, some aggressive positioning. He hears some footsteps around the corner. He is going to continue holding this short angle. He sees one. He's not going to pull the trigger yet. Trigger discipline. He finds two and gets a lot of damage down. Good efficiency there from Solo. Did miss his first shot, but... Uh, Ended up making it count in the end, and the three remaining players from Lycoming are going to rotate over towards C site now. They are running, but I think they're far enough away where Post is not able to hear the footsteps. Oh, now they do. Oh, Joe, perfect crosshair placement. Finds one. It's going to TP across and gets the second. Can't not get the third, though. Matthew in a 1v2. Dashing onto site. And that's going to do it. Johnny Fuego taking that last frag. And a good start for the Eagles. Taking the first pistol. And uh, here we have the post university Eagles classic. Meech and Solo buying Marshalls round two. Even more iconic duo. Oh, never mind. I'm tr I'm getting trolled. Meech swapped it out for a Spectre. Like I'm gonna full save here. Cannot overstate the importance of this match to uh, post University Valorant. Furthest we've ever advanced in any tournament, and it's the final four. Solo with a good. First frag there. Make it two. It's so deadly with this marshal. Ooh, gets that one shot off before dashing. Can't quite find it. Mojo with two more. And a 1v5 now. Kino pushing up. Getting that blind off. And gets that last kill. It's going to be a flawless for the Eagles on their buy around and they hold serve to nothing. Solo and Mojo with four kills apiece. I'm getting off to a really hot start. Oh, Johnny gets slapped 
immediately by Matthew off of that. Solo pushing up with the shorty shotgun combo. Matthew finds another. Vandal, Amanda Hammer gonna get the plant down. Eagles now in a 3v5. You know, just waiting in this smoke. Solo finds one. Dylan straights back though. Oh, Solo cannot get that with the shorty. He does get that one though. Getting shot from behind though, and only a matter of time here. And Toasty finds the last one, and Lycoming holds serve on their advantage round. But the Eagles do take out two of them. And uh, Solo grabbing an op for himself now. Really going to be looking to do some damage this round. The key with the op is you can't hold the same angle every time, especially on a long map like Haven. Everyone expects you to hold a long angle. You got to get up in their faces a little bit. Hold those short angles. Like we're about to see right there, Solo, the unexpected angle catches Matthew off guard. And post with that first blood. Four members of like coming now pushing up towards B. Oh. You know, caught with the utility out. But he does get the uh utility kill. Post death. Spike planted. As Babe gets the plant down. Ooh, Mojo checks the wrong angle there. Dylan with another. Each firing one back. Oh, but Toasty somehow getting that kill on Solo there. Looked like a wall bang to me, but it didn't show that in the kill feed. And we're tied up at two. Like coming, bringing this one back. Johnny and Meech uncharacteristically quiet so far. Look for them to heat up soon. Pretty even contributions all around from Lycoming. This is our home. Keep them out. Get out of my way. It's all popping the knives this round. Whoa, gets one immediately. Silenced by Mana Hammer, though. Oh, Mojo! What a TP play. Almost gets another. Johnny trying to do some damage. It's not going to happen. Meech in a 1v3. He's going to cage himself and get up into Cubby here. But uh, like Homing just going to take Seasight and get that plant down. Play it safe. But Meech has a Vandal now. Gets one. Only has 20 health left, though. Here. And it looks like the Brim is... Uh, Getting some lineup ready, but is not needed. It's toasty. Finds the last kill, third of the round. And they try the same old tricks. And like Homing takes the lead, three to two. Post came out really hot first two rounds, but has since cooled way down. Coming, uh, grouping up around A long here. The hunt begins. Mm, Reina popping Empress. Face your fear. A lot of ults coming down. Like, coming really wants this round. And Matthew jumps over. Solo did not hear the jump. Spike planted. Each finds one. 
with the trip wire. But Mojo on the flank is going to get another. Ooh, gets taken down by Matthew. Nice shot. Tosi with another one, but Kino trades it back. A 2v2 now. Ooh, another one for Kino. 69 health left. Ooh, and he's going to send the buddy out to defuse. Oh, Meech trying to buy time, but cannot do it. Oh, actually, I lied. Looks like when Gecko dies, the uh, his little buddy stops defusing. I thought he kept defusing, but yeah, I guess that makes sense. And it's 4-2, like homing, after 6. See if Post can turn things around. Probably not this round, though, as they are on a save. This goes here. Shot by Matthew. Guess the better of Solo that time. Meech on the flank. Just gonna set up right here, see if he can get a cheeky kill. Like coming, playing pretty uh, reserved this round. And Meech spotted out by that fade utility, and will not be able to get a cheeky kill this time. Oh, and Dylan on the lurk finds Mojo. Was definitely not expecting that. And like coming, looking po poised to take yet another round. This is up. Nice blind there from Kino. Barely gets it off in time and is going to be able to take Matthew's Vandal. This would be an insane clutch. Kino now in a 1v4. Running out of time. Does find the Reyna, at least. But, like, Omic takes another round. Five to two now. Eagles are going to have some firepower this round. Keep them on the run. Solo, good position here. Gonna find one. Dashing onto sight. As Johnny gets another. Mojo watching garage. Dinks him, but doesn't find the kill. Gets another one, though. And uh, a lot of damage from Mojo. Good efficiency. And a hammer tiptoeing up here. It's basically no health. One enemy remaining. Johnny finds Babe, and there it is. Meets with the last one on Mana Hammer. And Eagles do get one back. 5-3 now. They uh, stop the bleeding. As like only had won five straight rounds. Yes, this should do. That goes there. Oh, this is a nice spot. Is that Solo? No, that was Matthew popping the knives. Solo on the lurk. Oh, checking a little bit too quickly there. Dylan with the counter lurk. Mojo also got tagged very low, down to 11 health. Ooh, love that. Blind and Hunter's Fury synced up here. For the Eagles. 
And uh, Johnny getting a little bit of damage down there. But Matthew does find the knife kill. Four v three now. Winnable. You should run. Oh, Killjoy ult coming down. That's gonna buy some time and some space. Repose. Johnny gets it halfway. That could be big. Kino sends a wingman out, but it's not going to be enough. 6-3 now as like Homing takes another good post plant from them. Let's reset. Deep breaths and all that. Big push towards A. This time from Lycomi. Oh no. Oh no, Mish! <laughs> Can't find anyone. Solo trades one back though. Oh, Mojo with another. Oh, Solo, great shot! Matthew and uh, Liftikino playing Ring Around the Rosie. Ooh, good dash. Johnny in a 1v2 now. They have not got the plan down yet. Finally do so. Spike planted. And they know he's heaven. Standing ahead. Does he jump down? He does. One he gets remaining. one. Johnny. Shock dart. Oh, it was a little bit off there. And Matthew gets it. Four on the round. And it's 7-3, like homing. And there it is. It is official. Psychic WB completes the 3-0 sweep against the University of Albany, and we'll be heading to the championship game for the ECAC PlayStation NBA 2K23 bracket. Congratulations to him. Big dubs all around for Post University, as Johnny does not like that door one bit. Um, Matthew silences him. Solo's got the jump on him. Knife right in the back. Cannot get any more, though. Oh, Mojo with a big teleport. Doesn't find anything, though. Spike planted. Eagles on a save here, trying to do what they can. Ooh, you know, it dinks him. And Dylan with four on the round that time for Lycoming. Nice round. Was Lycoming. Last round in the Hold half. serve. Yes, this should do. That goes there. Last round of the half, Post try not to make it a 9-3. Get out of my way. Big dubs. You know what that means? First trophy. First trophy. Good shit, man. GG's.
big push over towards A site, but uh, Toasty on the lurk. Wow, my eyes are dull. The hunt begins. And now here comes the execute onto A site. Mocho linking up with the rest of the team here. He's gonna jump down. He finds one, gets traded back instantly. Toasty with another. Mocho with a good teleport, but here comes the nightmare onto the point. And Kino was in a 1v4 babe with the last one. And Lycoming, an excellent half there. Up 9-3. As Post now on offense. See if they can turn things around. Or uh, they'll be looking at a swift 0-1 scoreline for the match. Eagles pushing up towards B. Revealing area. The man offends one. Johnny does trade him back. Posty with another. Johnny pushing up through the smoke does find the kill as Mojo gets another. One enemy remaining. Make it two, Mojo. Playing very well this pistol round. Dylan does find one, but Johnny was on the other side. Eagles, good job. On pistol, and uh, they make it nine four. Definitely a, I don't want to quite say must win round, but it was it was pretty close. Go down 9-3 at the half. You generally have feel like you have to win pistol or it's going to be a very tough road. So, Post does a good job holding on there. <clears throat> because are going to full force here. Two shorties, though, for Lycoming. Looking to get some cheeky kills. Johnny's drone does find Matthew. No cheeky kills today. Oh, nice job using the blind, but Dylan trades him back. And uh, tons of kills going down onto the point, but it's a team ace for Post University as Kino finds the last one. Lycoming did a good job of getting a couple of frags there on their save round. But uh, the Eagles do hold serve in the end. 9-5 now, and this is where it gets interesting. If Post is able to uh, clutch this round out at a gun disadvantage, this would be massive. And would basically, basically make it an even game. If the rest of the rounds go as they should. But they've got to get this round first. Solo creeping. Is he going to updraft? No, he's just going to peek Matthew and flick him. Toasty gets one back, though. Johnny. Good kill on Toasty. And Eagles with control of A site. But it's a 3v3 as Mana Hammer gets Beach on the backside. Solo, here's the footsteps. Babe with one. Do they check? Oh, they don't! And Solo gets the last two. Johnny got another one in there. 
And Sala with three on the round. Huge round for Post. As now, Lycoming going to be on a save. So, assuming the Eagles can hold serve here, it'll be 9-7. And, uh... Much closer game than we saw at the end of the half. Here. Post turning things up here on offense on Haven. Let's see if they can keep it up. Johnny, one point away from Hunter's Fury. This could be big for a post plant. Area. The ground ring. Yep, he is going to grab that orb. Salo on site now. Dashing across, Keynote finds one. Eagles playing very confident now. They know they have the good firepower advantage. Spike's already down. Like, how many needs to move quick here? Meech and Solo find one each. Ojo with another. Mana Hammer in a 1v4. Can he clutch it out? Finds Keynote, prevent the flawless at least. And Mojo. Caught reloading though, and Sala will take the last one. And it's 9 7 as the Eagles do in fact hold serve. And now it's Lycoming's turn to stop the bleeding. Everyone with double digit frags for Lycoming. Good production all around. A lot of ultimates ready this round as well. I think this is where we're going to see a lot of X buttons being pressed. This is a very important round. Both teams with full buys, but like Homing's wallets are completely dry. So if the Eagles are able to win another, this will put them on another save. Johnny Fishing does not find anything. Salo. Getting position on site finds one. Mojo finds another. 4v3 now. You know, getting the plant down. There's the Brimolt. Gonna delay. No, he doesn't delay the plant. He wasn't planting default. Dylan does get that kill on Solo and will be able to heal up. Mana gets another. Oh! Mojo, 1v2. Can he clutch it out? Cannot. Dylan with three on the round. And uh, we saw a couple ults there, but not as many as I thought we would. And like Lycoming finally takes a round on defense. 10-7 now. Remember, either way, we will have another Valorant match for you all next week, no matter what happens tonight. The only question is, is it going to be for the third place match? Or is it going to be the championship game? Matthew popping knives. Very uh, advanced positioning. Catches Meech. Was not expecting him to be there. Oh, gets another one, but Solo trades him back. I have the spike. Solo with good positioning here. Might catch Babe. He does catch Babe. And not get the flick on Dylan though, as he crashes under those knives. And it's a 3v2 now. Still winnable for post. Johnny and Mojo are untouched and with a lot of utility. Nice shot by Johnny. Finds Dylan. Dylan, I've noticed, uh, likes to crouch a lot in these gunfights. And uh, Johnny, I don't know if he just happened to notice that tendency or if he just kind of naturally hit that shot, but... 
Good work nonetheless. Mojo waiting. Blinding. Sends the blind out. Catches Matthew. And Johnny finds two. That was beautiful. Perfect team play there from the Eagles. Love that communication. And Johnny and Mojo clutching up that post plant. Phenomenal job. And uh, let's take stock of the economy here. Lycoming, uh, looks like they're going to try to win this round. It's going to be a Sheriff for Toasty and a Spectre for Babe. And full buys across the board us elsewhere. Solo also rocking an op. Solo watching the flank. Is probably a good decision. Toasty up in heaven. I don't think they know he's here. Little bro gets the plant off. Solo still watching for the flank. And Pris getting popped. Still no kills. Big blind coming out. Huge. And Eagles get four instantly. Matthew does find one on the flank. But now the Eagles know where he is. He gets another. But he's running out of time as the spike was already play planted. And he also got spot out, spotted out by that uh, tripwire, I believe it was. And Kino with the last frag of the round. And the Eagles have now come all the way back to within one. Let's see if they can tie things up. Looking good so far as Lycoming is going to commit to the save round. Four ultimates available as well for the Eagles. Aguas, keep your guard up. Quintuple C long peak for post. As uh, Lycoming has completely ahead. advanced. Or actually, they looks like they stopped. That was an interesting. Interesting look. They are being very quiet. Johnny's about to find a lot of them, though. Gets one. Gets two. Gets three. Gets caught reloading. Meech bails him out. And Solo finds the last one, and the Eagles get the flawless. That is massive. Not only are they able to save all of those guns, but uh, they also saved all of their ultimates. So now they have Hunter's Fury, Omen TP, Gecko, whatever the heck his called Thrash, I think it's Thrasher, something like that. And Neural Theft. Ooh, Meech on the flank, I love this. On the lurk, I should say. Eagles tiptoeing up Sea Long. Oh, yeah. Villain is gonna be back there. Good blind. Disengages out as well. Ooh, Mojo teleports out somehow, but Kino with three! He's popping off! 2v3 now. Ooh, gets caught with the spike, though. And a 2v2 as Killjoy ult goes down onto point, but Meech finds one. And the lockdown, that's massive! The Neural Theft gonna find Brim. Johnny, get the plant down. Gets the spike down. Ultis too late. And there's the last kill from Johnny. And still has Hunter's Fury available. If the Eagles play their cards right, they could have Hunter's Fury available for the final round, potentially. As, uh, like, homing on another save. But they know this would put the Eagles on match point. A map point, I should say. Remember, this is a best of five, so. 
every map so crucial. Not only, obviously, in the scoreline, but just in terms of the mental. Going down one is not how you want to start that uh, best of five. Or any series, for that matter. And they do commit to the save round. <clears throat> Meets checking. Toasty finds one. Double cage advance. And the blind finds one. Meech finds two. Toasty very low. Johnny going to finish him off. Mojo finds Dylan up in heaven. And Meech with another is third of the round. And it's 12-10 Eagles on match point now on map one. Also, Johnny started off very, very quiet this map, but has since exploded onto the top fragger position. A clean 2.0 KD on the Sova and still has Hunter's Fury available for this final, potentially final round. If the Eagles can get the plant down here, it's almost GG's. Ooh, Beach, barely dodging out of that one. It's gonna pop his cage and disengage. Sala watching long. They know that the Reyna has liked holding that angle and it looks like they're gonna rotate off now. I like this call from, uh, from Meech. Our captain. Hmm. Let's see what they decide to do here. Yeah. Killjoy does have all of her utility set up on A. Oh, but Solo with a huge pick on Dylan. That's massive. And now Seasight is open for the taking. But Matthew trades one back on Johnny. That's a big kill. Updraft up. He finds the quick scope. Matthew very low as well. Ooh, he hurt him. Gets the op shot. Four V two. Two more kills. Can post clutch it out. Oh, Mojo getting dinked through the wall. He's just gonna stay there though. But Kato finds them both! And that's it! Map one goes to Post University. Fantastic job from them. And a very close one. Down 9-3 at the half. They bring it all the way back and only allow Lycoming one round on defense. Incredible work by Post. Specifically, Solo, the MVP, once again for the Eagles. On the Jet, 307 combat score, 25, 16, and 4. Matthew, the MVP for Lycoming, 248 combat score, 20, 21, and 4 on the Jet. So Post University going to go up 1-0 to zero in this best of five with a spot in the championship game on the line. We'll be right back with Map 2. Don't go anywhere.
All right, we're back with map there. two in the ECAC Division B Valorant semifinal matchup between Post University and Lycoming College. Post University and Lycoming, by the way, coming in as the 14th and 15th seeds, respectively, in this bracket. So a lot of upsets early on. Uh, but we're here on Fracture for map two. Of course, a the Fracture, a very interesting map. Very unique. As Meech holding this high ground. Salo coming in on the flank. In this pistol round. He's going to find him. They're all lined up, but Mana Hammer gets the better of him. Johnny finds one. Get, tries to get the Sheriff and get out, but cannot do so. And uh, 4v3. The one member of Lycoming is tagged. You know, here's the footsteps. Here's the rope. Oh, Meech and Mojo get two, though. And the spike is down as well. Weapon here. Good shots from Meech. Ooh, he did a better shot from Dylan, though. Ooh, Mojo caught with the knife out. And Babe with the last kill for Lycoming. Well played there on the pistol round. Did not get the plant money down, though. And uh, Lycoming jumping out to an early lead here. And uh, Will Force. But, uh, agents and lineups, uh, no substitutions for either team. It's going to be Mojo on Brim, Meech on Cypher, Johnny on Fade, Lift Aquino on KO, and Solo got on Jet. Dylan on Breach, Babe on Killjoy, Matthew on Jet, Mana Hammer on Brim, and Toasty on Fade. Babe finds Meech off the rip here. As, like, coming, playing confident with gun advantage. Oh, nice shots from Kino. Finds one. And will at least prevent the flawless. Launching smoke. Spike planted. Solo on the flank with the shorty. Let's see if he can get a nice cheeky kill off. Aw, oh, Babe is going to spot that out with the utility. Gonna trade it for a ghost. Dink spade, but it's not enough. And like homing hold serve on their buy round. 2-0 now. If KO is tough, a bullet is tougher. Just one kill on Solo so far, who has gotten off to a very slow start so Hold far down. this map. Yo, what's up? What's good, Panda? We are, in fact, up one map. Took Haven 13-10. Dylan, good kill on Mojo. Close in a 3v5. Oh, wow, Meech did not see the jet coming up there. Last player standing. 30 seconds left. Spike planted. Good kill by Johnny. Prevents the flawless. But they know where he is now.
And Matthew with the last kill of the round for Lycoming. Three on the round for him. And it's uh, three nothing Lycoming. And things not looking good right now for post on Fracture. I believe this was Lycoming's map pick. But uh, Eagle's going to be on another save round now. Ooh, Solo with one, Kino with another, and this is so far an excellent save round for Post, as they've already got two frags. And they'll be able to collect some weapons now as well. Solo on the lurk. Oh, he finds one! He can't find the second. Johnny. With the rope play. Love to see it. 2v2 now. I was not expecting this at the start of this round. Solo with the bulldog. Mojo with the phantom. He hears the footsteps. You should run. There's the killjoy ult. Does he peek this? Does he just back off? Looks like he's gonna back off. Thirty seconds left. Gets stunned up. Spike Dave gets planted. the spike down. Oh, down. turns around. Well played there by Babe and Dylan. Solo drops down, finds one. Just gonna smoke this off and fire through. Gonna tap it, dash away. He's running out of time. Does he just stick it here? Oh, he should have stuck it. I don't know if Dylan had any utility left. Well played, though. Hell yeah, CJ. That's what I'm talking about. Here. It would be three. Smash got into the finals with a 2-3 nail-biter win over um, Adelphi last night. And uh, CJ earlier today got the 3-0 sweep versus University of Albany. And let's see if the post-University Eagles Valorant team can make some noise. So holding a very narrow window here. Prepare for oh wow, that was not a body shot. As uh, Babe and Manahammer get one each, Mojo does get one back. Spike planted. Spikes down already. Good kill by Mojo, his second of the round. Ultimate coming down as well. His third of the round. Solo with another. Here comes the ult. Dylan does get that kill. Johnny gets blinded up, doesn't see. Finally gets unblinded and gets that kill. And uh, Post will be on the board. They take a very important round there, and Solo crucially will be able to hold on to his op. And we'll not have to rebuy that. Hmm, each. Looking like he's gonna have to save a very awkward uh, economy situation for post right now. But we'll see if we can make it work. There. Nice shot from Solo. Immediately eliminates Toasty. 
and is now holding this close angle. Oh, beautiful timing. He gets another right off of that blind. He heard it coming and then thought that they would pick peak right as they did. And that's, in fact, what happened. Oh, he can't get a third. That was close. But Keynote's there to clean up. 4v2 now. Johnny, here's the footsteps. He knows they're coming. Matthew finds one on Johnny. That's a big kill. It's a 3v2 now. Each creeping up. He sees them going up. He's going to let the plant go down. And just watch this. Uh... Wait. Wow, Mana Hammer, nice shot on Mojo. A 2v2 now, very winnable for Lycoming. He's going to swap out for a Vandal. Eagle's got to push in soon. Last player standing. Mana Hammer with another one. one enemy remaining. Meech. Meech! What a way to finish the round. Clutches out the 1v2. Clutch. And it's 4-2. to two. Eagles cut the lead in half. And he uh, does have enough time to grab that op from the ground as well. Important for the economy. Going to give that right back to Solo. Where it belongs. Not that anyone else on the team can't op, but... Uh, Solo is definitely our best offer. <laughs> and uh, being on the jet, of course. That goes there. Yes, this should do. Solo not going to find anyone here unless they turn around. Each with uh, good positioning here. Let's see if he can catch him off guard. You know, good first blood there. Oh, can not get Dylan, but he does get some damage down. Matthew with another. And Hammer getting the plane down. Gets silenced by Meech. And no spike down. Solo can't hit that shot. Interesting. Just going to smoke and stay there. Spike, planted. spike finally is planted that time. By Matthew. Johnny on the hunt. Finds one. Ten health left. Last player standing. Can he clutch it out? Ten health in a dream. Too much utility to look through. <laughs> Dylan finds the last kill. It'd have to blow a lot there, though. And it's 5-2. Once again, Lycoming starting off strong, but can they finish strong? They were unable to close out Haven after going up 9-3 at the half, so... We may be in for another similar situation here on Fracture. Eagle's gonna save here. It's gonna be Sheriff Gang. Nope, Lift a Keynote says... Oh, no, he did. Swapped it out. There. Pen to Sheriff. Dashing away from that blind. Dylan finds one. Dylan finds two. Great blind. But Meech can only find one with his sheriff. Where are you? Mark two. Spike planted. Bring them down. Howler doesn't find anyone. Oh, stuck with the utility out. 
And Keynote in a 1v4 with just a Sheriff. And it's an ace for Dylan. Really nice work there. Let's make a play, then execute. 14 and 3 is popping off right now for Lycoming. Incredible performance so far over eight rounds. Eagles need to look to try to bounce back soon here. Very even contribution from all five members of the Eagles. But uh, this is definitely where they need to start turning this half around as they are scraping the bottom of the barrel in terms of funds. And we'll be on another save if they're not able to pull this one out. Trade kills already. Toasty with two, though. But Mana Hammer is quite low. Each on the flank is marked. You know, good uh, flick there. Finds Toasty. Each with another watching for that flank. But Mana Hammer with 10 health left. It's caught by the tripwire. You should run. Killjoy ult going to buy some time as well. And Mana Hammer also has his ultimate available. So this is actually going to be a pretty difficult retake for the Eagles. They need to push in soon. Oh, Mojo just finds the kill. And there's the last one. And Meech, the last player left standing after the dust settles. And he will find this defuse. It's going to be 6-3. And, uh, yeah. Dylan did not even have a chance to ult there. Was killed by Mojo's ult. Or you could even get it off. This goes here. Oh, this is a nice spot. <laughs> here. Solo, what are you doing in the chat, bro? Hmm. <laughs> Solo on the lurk here. Here's the footsteps. Big ultimate is not going to find anyone. But like coming with complete control of A-Sight now. Nice kill by Solo. Finds one. Dylan also very low. Good flick. He finds another. Toasty gets the better from that time though, but it's still a very productive round for Solo. Keynote and Dylan get one. Meech caught swapping weapons. One suppressed. One enemy remaining. Johnny. Last player standing. Oh, Johnny. Oh, he finds the kill. And I think he will have enough time for this defuse. Whew, that was a close one. Johnny had me worried for a second there. <laughs> 6-4, and already a better half for the Eagles this time. Although they are still down. Nightmare and Knives available for post. But Brim and uh, also Nightmare available for Lycoming this round. Lycoming? Lycoming. Oh yeah, I googled Lycoming's mascot earlier on my phone, but then my phone was being slow. It didn't tell me who it was. Yeah, my phone's being slow. I don't want to Google it because I'll have to alt tab. Somebody tell me what Lycoming's uh, mascot is. Solo on the hunt here. 4v4. Mojo with another. It gets silenced by Dylan. 
But he does get a lot of damage down. Coming, rotating back around towards A. Give me those back. Good shot there by Solo. Mana Hammer getting the plant down. Here comes Nightmare. Each good job. Patience there on the shot. But Johnny with the last one. And the Eagles... We'll get to within one as Johnny sticks the defuse. I'll find you. Last round before the switch. Six five. Eagles trying to make it an even six six half. And uh everyone with buys this round. Yep, Solo gonna buy for keynote. And everyone gonna leave it all on the table. All right here, Keena one point away from his ult. Let's see if they try to uh, push up and allow him to get an orb so he can use it this uh, end, to end this half. Johnny pushing out strong with Solo. Yep. Three players contributing for that kill. You know, another one. Gonna activate that ultimate. Does get taken down though. Each trades one back. 4v2. Dylan with another one. Oh, and Meech gets one, but it's not enough. Dylan with another phenomenal round four on the round. And he's at 21 frags at the half. Incredible performance. Putting like homing on his back right now. Warriors, thank you. <laughs> All right, that's a little bit easier to say than like coming. I like that. Thanks for joining me tonight, everyone. Huge shout out to everyone in the chat. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Feel free to drop a follow, but our follower notifications have not been working lately, so uh, unfortunately you uh, you won't see anything. But I appreciate all you guys watching and following. Um, it's probably it might be for the best anyways. Our follower notification is kind of obnoxious. It's like an eagle screech. It's kind of annoying, honestly. I should probably change it. <laughs> oh, nice shot by Matthew off the rip here. On pistol. Whoa, but Meech! Not to be outdone. Gets one himself. He's gonna go right back across. 4v4 now. Mojo watching for flanks. Oh, yeah, that makes sense to be a warrior because it's like a that, it's like the sword icon. A lot of utility blocking the eagle's approach here. <laughs> you know, finally getting that kill. Ten health left. Mojo getting the plant down now. It's Meech lurking, looking, hunting. Here's the footsteps. Oh, he sees Babe coming. Bang. Easy kill. Babe was not looking in the right direction. But uh, Johnny and Keynote very low. Johnny gets another 4v1. Ooh, nice shot by Toasty. He gets two. This is not over. Mojo and Kino both tagged. Toasty running out of time. Nice job, Mojo. Comes around, playing for time. Pay attention. I learned something. And the Eagles will win the pistol round on offense. Let's see what um, the Warriors decide to do here. Uh, full save, couple frenzies. 
And Post looking primed to take this round. Let's see if they can hold serve. Solo dashing up. Rojo, get the plant down. Put them on a timer already, like that. Mojo gets one. Mojo gets two. Solo with another. And Solo with three! Off the back end of that play. And another flawless for the Eagles. Yeah, we are on a three minute delay. As you can tell from it being three minutes until I can respond to your uh, chat messages. <laughs> Eagle's gonna bonus here. Once again, not uh, not one, no one player carrying post this time. Everyone contributing uh, pretty much equally. But Dylan with uh, 14 ends is so far uh, definitely carrying the Warriors. Interesting here from Post, not doing anything, just kind of waiting. Solo with the spike, which is also interesting. Spike drop. Ooh, Solo peeks Toasty, and Toasty makes him regret it. Nice job by Johnny. He's going to take that Phantom as well. 4v4. Mojo getting the plant down. Despite the utility. Oh, Meech through the wall. Gets taken down. Mojo, good positioning here. Oh, he looked away from the blind, but he actually didn't even need to. Still waiting. Last player standing. <laughs> just spray him down. Just mow him down. He's in here somewhere. <laughs> and Babe will grab that defuse, and the Warriors will go up 8-7 to seven now. As they retake the lead. Running towards A this time. Sight. Solo dashing across that utility. Mojo, good kill on a mana hammer. And Solo with a uh, nice positioning. We'll find Dylan and Babe. 4v2. You're not gonna fake the plant. Let's get it down. Solo with his third of the round. Make it four. Lives with 15 health, and we're tied up at eight. This one's back and forth. Man, these two maps couldn't have been any different. On Haven, uh, Post just took a while to warm up. Went down 9-3 to the Warriors at the half. And then only allowed them to take a single round in the second half and finish 13-10. But this map has gone back and forth. 
Like coming won the first four in a row, and uh, after that, it's just been back and forth. Solo, same play from the Eagles here. Push up through mid. Solo dashing onto site. Trying to get in the plant down. Mojo finds one. Matthew dropping down into that smoke. One enemy remaining. Two more kills from the Eagles of 5v1 now. Can Bay prevent the flawless? Just a ghost. Not gonna happen as Solo grabs the last kill and the post university Eagles will take the lead here nine to eight as we are approaching the final phase of this map. Let's see if Post can start to pull away. Or if Lycoming will bounce back once again. Economy looking very good for the Eagles right now. This is almost a must win for the Warriors because uh, if they lose this one, they're going to be looking at another save. And then it's looking at 11-8. And then have to play near perfect. And then on out. Let's see if Solo dashes through here. Oh, nice job. Mojo bails him out. Good team play there. And that's the top fragger down. You know, getting the plant down. Solo and Matthew trade kills. Johnny gets another. Here comes Van Hammer through the door. Is Johnny watching? One enemy remaining. Yes, he is. And Johnny finds the last one. That was massive for Post. And like coming on the back foot now. We'll be looking at a save. Let's see what they decide to do here. Yeah, they're 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 gonna buy some guns, but yeah, pretty much a save round. A marshal for Mana Hammer. Sheriff for Dylan. That's going to be interesting to see if he can uh, make some noise with that. But Post, once again, looking very strong to go up 11 8. They just need to uh, take care of business on this round. Johnny pushing up aggressively. Really want to take this space. Solo finds one. Good look away. Johnny gets another. Eagles playing so confident right now. I'd love to see it. Dylan does find a kill. Onto Solo, no less. Here comes the nightmare. Ooh, Matthew with another. This is a 3v3. Very winnable for the Warriors. Meech on the lurk. Mana Hammer. Johnny and Lift a Keynote versus Mana Hammer. Mana Hammer running out of time. And uh, that's going to do it. Not, not enough time to get in there and defuse. And it will, in fact, be 11 to 8. But, like, homing, nice job getting the three kills. But I don't know if it's going to matter too much as uh, two players on uh, all four players, four out of five players on post, maxed out on creds. Uh, doesn't really matter in the end. But it is 11 to 8 now. And uh, this is a crucial, this is a must win for Lycoming. You do not want to go down 12-8 uh, and looking at a save. So Lycoming has to win this round. They want any shot at taking the map. A lot of utility being thrown down, and rightfully so. Like I said, they need to win this round. Solo gonna take the ropes across. 
three of the Eagles are going to take the ropes across, and they're going to reconvene and head towards B. Matthew was poked down to 21 health as Solo gets one, but the turret finishes him off, and it's a 4v4s. Neural Theft, this is going to be big for the Eagles. Mojo gets blinded up, but he's going to be able to get those smokes down. Oh, Matthew and Mana Hammer get two kills. That's massive. Can like home and come back. 4v2. Spike is on site. He cheers the footsteps. Just waiting 12 seconds. We gotta get in there soon. There's not gonna be enough time anyways, but Meech does get two. And uh, that was a very crucial round for the Warriors. They needed that big time. Post with plenty of money though. Still in the bank, so they'll be fine for this next round. A bulldog for Toasty, but other than that, it is full buys across the board as like Humming knows this is must win territory yet again. Where to set up shop? Dash updraft. Oh, he can't find the kill, Mana Hammer. Ojo does get a kill on Dylan. That's a big kill. Top fragger down. Mana Hammer, though, having a good round. Where are you? Ojo gets another. Launching smoke. Ooh, gets caught by Matthew. Spike down 2v3. A. Each on the lurk. Oh, he waited too long. And they have the spike. They just have to wait it out. Johnny's going to be... It's going to be very difficult for him to push up here. He does find the kill on Babe, though. No way he clutches this out, right? No shot. He's got the spike. Ten seconds left. Nah, he's got to get in. He's got to commit. Yeah, Toasty gonna finish him off. And it's eleven ten now. Eagles' economy starting to finally take a little bit of a hit. But they are still going to be fine once again. And uh, Meech going to call a timeout. Ooh. Meech wants to talk it over. All right, let's take the stock here. Uh, Solo's got his knives ready. No other ultimates available for post. Toasty and Mana Hammer have their ults available. Babe is close. Needs two points. Both teams are going to have full buys across the board. And the Eagles need one more to go on a match point. So a very crucial round now. Eagles do not want to let Lycoming tie this up. And we're back. Bring them down. 
Ooh, Solo dashing through. Poking Dylan down. And Kino going to finish him off. Good uh, first blood there for the Eagles. But Post is split. And Meech and Mojo hanging around lurking. Mojo with the spike there being quiet here. This is a designed play. Solo on the lurk. It's not expecting Mana Hammer to be there. It does fall. But Mojo now. Free to get the plant down. Ultimate is late. It doesn't find anyone. More smokes coming down. Nightmare coming out onto the point. And a hammer finds one. Johnny with another. It's a 1v2. Johnny and Keynote. Toasty running out of time. Can Toasty clutch it up for like homing? <laughs> and uh, no time for Toasty. He's going to save or try to, but Johnny is not going to let him. Johnny with three on the round. Kino does die to the bomb, but more importantly, it is match point. Eagles on the verge of going up two maps to zero in this best of five against the Lycoming Warriors. And another nail biter. Oh, and Lycoming don't have full buys this round either. Dylan going to be rocking a judge. And a couple Guardians as well, so this is massive. Like, Homing needs to clutch this out, and they don't even have the firepower to do so. Nightmare going on to the point. Solo dashing through. He finds one. Johnny with another. Smokes go down, and now Mojo going to get the plant down. Mana Hammer finds one kill, though, keeping Like, Homing's hopes alive. Solo holding the short angle. Finds that kill on Toasty. Oh, he's caught in the molly, though. He makes it out with 30 health, Mana Hammer. He's got another Solo with three, and Johnny finds the last one, and that is GG for map two. 13-10 again. His map so close, like how many putting up a heck of a fight. But is now down 0-2 in the best of five. Solo, the MVP for the Eagles. 354 combat score, 25, 17, and 7 on the jet. Dylan and -n 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 -n, the MVP for the Warriors. 271 combat score, 24, 17, and 6 on the breach. 13 rounds now separate post university Valorant from our first championship game berth in school history. Don't miss it.
All right, we're back with a map three. Eagles up two zero in this best of five, 13 rounds away from our first Valorant championship berth. And we're headed to Icebox. Mana Hammer and Solo trading kills. Mojo getting the plant down. Meech finds another. Ooh, Solo. It's tagged in the back by Toasty. 2v3. One enemy remaining. Nice kill by Korn. Can't get that last one, but Meech finishes the job. And uh, we got a substitution coming out for the Eagles. Left Aquino is out, and Cornflakes is in. Uh, no substitutions for Lycoming. So it's going to be a Toasty on Sova, Mana Hammer on Viper, Babe on Sage. I like that. <laughs> Babe on Sage. Just like Meech on Breach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sad Beach is not on Breach now. <laughs> Dylan -n 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 on Reyna and Matthew on Jet. Ooh, man, this volume is a little too loud. Let's just tone that down just a bit. <laughs> you just can't quite find that spray control. Good shot by Solo. Corn gets another. One enemy remaining. Flawless. And that's a flawless for the Eagles as Solo gets the last one with the classic. Plant money to boot. And the Eagles off to a hot start. On the cold map. But uh, meanwhile, for the Eagles, it's going to be Cornflakes on Reyna, Solo on Jet, Meech on KO, Mojo on Viper, and Johnny on Sova. Early kill onto Solo right now. Dylan gets one. Johnny uh, finally silences him, though, as Mojo gets another, and now it's a 3v3 even match. 
Oh, Meech can't quite find that kill. Whoop. <laughs> Poor Mojo. <laughs> they just was sacrificed there. And uh, Post cannot get that round as uh, Lycoming took advantage of their superior firepower that round. Solo pushing up with his op now. Oh, wow. He was really confident he was going to get that shot. I thought he was, too. He was playing very spread out, very patient this round. Solo still watching this angle. Oh no, Solo missed that by a pixel. Gets tagged down to 10 health as well. Mojo does get the plant down. And Corn with the high ground. This is going to be a spicy retake. Oh, Toasty finds Corn somehow. Solo. Let's see, he gets one. Solo trades it back. Babe gonna stick this, though. Oh, wow. Almost stuck it. But we are tied up at two. Lycoming playing right now. Trying to... Uh, Keep this match alive. Got their backs against the wall right now. Eagles on a save round here. Oh no, misses up the dash. Ooh, dinks one. Corn with a kill on Matthew. Mojo gets the plant down. Corn with good position here. Frenzy Johnny, nice shot. Wow, this is uh, this round has potential here. Still no one defusing. Last player standing. Oh, and that's gonna do it. Good job by Toasty. Eagles almost stole that thrifty round. And that was a close one for a bit. Post with even firepower this round. So immediately occupying this high ground. And Meech pushing up through mid. And the KO, but Matthew is watching. Ah. 
Nice shots by Meech. Good movement. Ooh, babe gets the res off. The spike is already down. Corn, good positioning. We'll find one. Dismiss out. Sala with another. Good looking round for the Eagles so far. Sala with his third of the round. And uh looks like Matthew just gonna try to save his Vandal in a 1v5. Uh smart choice. Um interesting choice to pop knives there. I don't know if that was a misclick or what, but uh Maybe he just wanted to bait post into uh staying near the bomb. Honestly, it was probably just a misclick. But, uh, three all now. Everyone cat jam. Oh, there we go. No. Oh. Economy looking very good for post. If they can win this one, uh, it will be looking primed to take a big lead. Salo flying across the ropes, taking the high ground. Stanley across, finds Toasty reloading. And just peeking above the wall, gets another. Babe finds a kill. Ooh, nice shot by Dylan. Corn with another. Has Empress running and uh, has a good idea of where Dylan is. Get some poke damage through the wall as well. Dylan now with a single point of health and Corn popping off so far on the arena. Seven kills over as many rounds and Post takes the lead 4 3. Like how I'm going to be on a save round now. Marshall for Mana Hammer, who has been uncharacteristically quiet so far this map. Let's see if uh, they could turn it around. Zala pushing up. Updraft up here? No, he doesn't have it. Just gonna wait in this smoke. Meanwhile, Johnny watching for the flank. Spots it out. And babe gonna just retreat off of there. Solo gets some damage down, but Tosi finds the frag. Corn once again having a good round. Who gets blinded up though? Finds one. Dismisses across. 3v3. Still no one defusing. Oh. Oh, Johnny has uh, Hunter's Fury. This round's over. Oh, he doesn't even need it. He can just fire shock darts right at the bomb. And Toasty with three frags on the round, but it's not going to matter. And post up two. Oh, hydration check for everyone watching. Posture check. No shrimps. No shrimps tonight. Johnny's still with Hunter's Fury available. Did not even need it that round. Um, and economy looking phenomenal for post. Johnny almost capped out already. Standing ahead. Oh, solid revealed by the recon bolt and doesn't care. <laughs> Just stands there. Niche. Popping that ult. Mojo getting the plant down. Yeah. Eagles setting up this post plant. Watching Johnny here. With that Hunter's Fury. 
Toasty with one kill. Abe with another. Good looking round here for like coming. Oh, another one for Dylan there. Too many targets for Meech. And that's going to be a flawless for like coming as Dylan finds the last one. Not really sure what happened there. But uh, Post did not hit their shots. And like coming took advantage and they cut the lead in half. 5 4 now. As we are strapped in for another back and forth map. Hello, Jet. <laughs> it's been our problem all season. Too much has been placed on the shoulders of Solo and Meech, and it looks like this series, we've finally figured it out. And they're gonna bust through the wall! I love this! <laughs> but Solo with two already, finally silenced by Mana Hammer. Oh, but Babe was just defending his wall. Finds two, and it's a 2v2 now. Poison's off. One enemy remaining. Johnny. 1v1. Spike down B. Babe has the spike, though. Does he stay? Wow, this is going to be a long, drawn-out 1v1. No, it's not! Johnny... Finds Babe immediately. He's not going to be able to get this plant down, though. Way too far away from the uh, site. But it's 6-4 Eagles as we're possibly on track for our first, first half win of the night. Every single map so far has been a come-from-behind win on the second half. But... Right here. Tala revealed by that recon dar is just gonna wait it out. Corn and Meech pushing up onto site though. <clears throat> but it looks like it's a bamboozle. Mojo and Johnny heading over towards B. Ooh, but Dylan, I think, sniffed this out. Johnny gonna check the site. Sees Banna Hammer back there. Mm, Matt and Corn Trade kills a 4v4 now. Solo's still on the lurk. I don't think Lycoming knows where he is. And this could be huge. This is great position for Solo. Finds one. I know where he is. Good job. Good decision to just get out of there. We're about to find the other Reyna. Just going to blind and get out of there. Good choice. Just buy some more time. Johnny's still with Hunter's Fury. Comes down to it. And he's just going to stay out of this one. Ready with that. Oh, corn caught reloading. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. Yep. Not enough time. And Dylan knows it. And he also knows it's a Sova. And <laughs> he's just gonna run. Oh, he finds the post round kill though. But uh it's probably not gonna yeah, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> As opposed to plenty of money uh, for the last round of the half here. And uh, whew, really going to put the pressure on like coming on the second half. Keep them cornered. Standing ahead. Post pushing out very aggressively, very fast towards B. Oh, 
Oh wow, Corrin just guesses right. Finds the kill. Just Fury. Mish and Solo get two more. Hunter's Fury tags Mana Hammer back there too. Spike was never actually fully planted though, and Corn is gonna have to do the deed. Gets it down. That's all all but over as Corn finds the last kill and post just I love this constant tempo switch up from them. Going from very slow and methodical. Next round they just run it. And then they go back to slow and methodical. Meech doing a really good job. Oh no, corn, no! No! Get that shit out of here! It's so ugly! Oh my god, if we win with a Mario crosshair, I'm gonna lose it. Ugh, oh my god. Look at that monstrosity. Get that shit out of here. Thank you. Oh my god. He's about to be off the team. He's about to be off the team for that. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ugh. I'm just gonna vomit real quick. Alright, it's 8-4 at the half. Five rounds away. Revealing area. Mm, Johnny's bolt does tag Toasty. No one's back there. Nice reaction there by Mojo. He was ready for Matthew. I'm gonna take a ghost as well. That is a distracting ass ghost. I would never use that skin. <laughs> That's so distracting. Ooh, Solo caught a peek there. Finds one. Finds two! Finds three! No! No! Solo, what a round! 4K with the Sheriff. That was a masterclass. Oh, precision right there. And that is just backbreaking if you're like humming. That is. Oh, man. That is going to make it so difficult for the Warriors to come back on this map. As now they're on a save, but they they don't care. They're just buying anyways. They know they have to win these rounds. And honestly, I don't blame them. Pushing up towards B. Corn's going to hear a lot of them. Oh, too many targets. Mojo coming in gets one. Meech gets one. Mojo silenced Mana Hammer, trades one back. Each knows where Mana Hammer is. Ooh. Dave coming out. But that's gonna do it. Meech and Johnny find the last two. Still have it. He turned it off. Thank God. All right. Three rounds. Three rounds away. Counting down. Oh, Panda, no. Stop. <laughs> Moyo. <laughs> I'm trying to build hype for this moment, and I keep getting distracted by chat. <laughs> Mojo's in a tough spot here. Toasty's looking for him. Oh, Mojo comes out at the right time. Not find anything else, though. Oh, good job by Solo. Gets the blind. Caught reloading, but Matthew dashes away. Can Johnny trade this back? No, babe, with three on the round. And now it's a 2v2. Each watching this mid with a bulldog. A little bit late there. But the warrior is going to have control of A site now. One enemy remaining. Each finds one. 
Matthew in a 1v2, he's got to clutch this out, and he can. It's a team ace for Post. One player. Every player on Post finding a kill that round. And 11 to 4, like Homing just does not look like they have it. They have got a mountain to climb to come back in this one. Down seven, and Post is just looking so crisp on this map. We have historically performed quite well on Icebox, and you're seeing why right here. Great execution, great post plants, great retakes. We still rocking that Bulldog. He's feeling it. He gets one, gets some damage down. It's Johnny with three. They violently silences him, but Sala with the last one, and Eagles on match point now. 12 to four. Match point. One round away from a championship bid. And like coming on a save, Bulldog Gang. They have to get this round. They have to get all subsequent rounds in this match. And it is not looking good. Knife goes out. Meech. Meech walking up. Oh, he sees two. Corn. Long angle. Finds one, then two. Dismisses out. He's going to heal. And he finds three! Corn! Is this it? Two more kills. There's one. Matthew, seven health! Seven HP before you dust in the championship game! Please! Johnny! Someone! They, he can't get to the spike! It's over! There's no way he can get to the spike in time. He's got 50 seconds, but... This has got to be it. No, Johnny, look the other way, man. And there it is. Post University completes the clean 3-0 sweep over Lycoming and will advance to the first championship game in school history. Big congratulations to them. Meech has done such good work with the team so far this season, and we're seeing that pay off. A 13-10, 13-10, 13-4, 3-0 tonight versus Lycoming. Well played, Lycoming. Congratulations on a great season. Good luck in your third place match next week. Um, Salo, the MVP for the Eagles on Icebox there. 22-11-4 on the Jet. Babe, the MVP for Lycoming. 14-14-3 and three on the Sage. Well played all around. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching, everyone. That was a hell of a time. Three teams now in the championship game for Post University uh, across three different game titles. So big props all around. <clears throat> and uh, that's going to do it for our streams this week as we have no matches on Wednesday anymore, no matches on Thursdays. Um, we might potentially have a Rocket League game on Friday. Uh, but that is pending, so we'll see about that. But until then, uh, next week, we're going to have our Smash Championship game for uh, Division B for ECAC, taking on uh, LIU. That's going to be Monday night at 8 o'clock. And then uh, it'll be right back here on Tuesday for the ECAC Division B Championship game for Valorant at 8 o'clock next Tuesday, so make sure to tune in for that as well. Um, until then, thanks for watching, everyone. I am Denny. You all have a fantastic night.